they're really handy to have and really good comprehensive little charger. Hi guys, it's Brett here from Hearns Hobbies and today I'd like to talk to you about the Tornado C100 charger. Let's jump right in and have a look. So this charger, what we've got here, this is what we commonly refer to as a multi-chemistry charger. So that will charge different uh, composition batteries, whether it's lead, nickel metal, life, lipo, lilo, uh, even NICAD batteries. So it will charge them all and it does it with a digital display so you can see what's going on. And it's also got a lot of other features that you might use. Um, we commonly use with LiPo, which would be to put our batteries to storage, to cycle them automatically, so to charge them and discharge them, um, and also a standalone discharge feature as well, to make sure that we're keeping our batteries uh, in, optimum, in optimum condition, to make sure that they're performing the best that they can. Uh, and if they're not, we'll, we'll see it on the display, why they're not and how they're aging. So in the box here, we've got the charger unit, very neat and compact little unit, very tidy looking. We've got the comprehensive instruction booklet here. And um, there's quite a few sheets here and that's because the, the charger's capabilities and everything it can do. So that's worth a, a good read. Um, we've got our commonly referred to as a balance board here. And that's really used for charging lipo and life batteries to balance the cells and keep them together and safe then we've got a few various so we've got our common charge port here and this has come with a industry standard dean's plug if you will which is a very common battery connection and our last plug here is our 12 volt plug so the beauty about this charge is it's ac dc so you can either charge it from your 240 240 uh, volt wall plug at home using just a standard wall plug or you, if you're out camping or, or out at the racetrack or whatnot you can use the, the alligator clips and hook it up to a 12 volt power supply or power source so a really good a really good feature makes this charger really versatile so I'm going to plug it in and let's have a look at how it fires up so plug in the 240 volt connection in the back Plug it into the wall connection. And here we go. You can see here it's got a great little high resolution LCD screen. And that's straight away it's come up with nickel metal uh, hydrate battery. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to charge this nine steps unit here. This is a 2S 5200 milliamp battery. And I'm going to run you through the process for that. Um, and you might go, oh, it's a different connection to to the battery and that's fine like you'll get to know your own setup there's simple little plug adapters available uh, in store or online and that's the JPRC ones and this is here a simple Dean's to Traxxas converter so I'm going to go ahead and plug that on and then I can plug the battery into into the charger like so so I've got that's our main power cable now for doing the LiPo battery on balance, I'm actually going to charge, plug in the balance port, like so. Put that under here, keep it nice and neat, like so. Then I'm going to scroll through the menu until we get to LiPo, because it's a LiPo composition battery, lithi lithium polymer, battery type, LiPo battery. We'll push enter on that, and it's going to tell us we want a balance charge, yes we do. 2S, yes. The capacity of the battery, it's a 5200. So put that down to 52. And then the charge rate has automatically come up of 5.2 amps. And that's a general guideline and that is safe. That's what we call 1C charging. Now being such a powerful charger, that can charge all the way up to 10 amps if you choose. Um, and that is gonna really charge your battery as, as fast as you'd ever want. Um, but generally at the detriment of the life of the battery. So we'll charge it back to 5.2, which is safe. And you'd expect it to take about an hour to charge this battery. Maybe less. Depends how flat it is as well. So we'll go ahead. It beeps to let me know that it's all going. And then the full LCD readout here will tell me exactly what's going on in the battery. So I can tell now that it's got 7.5 volts of storage in the battery and we're charging up now towards the 5.2 amp. Now if I scroll across, 
we can see the, the voltage for each cell that's getting read through the balance port and that's showing me that I've got voltages of 3.88 and 3.87 and you want those as matched as closely as possible. So while we've got big power going through here, we've also got a small current going through this one and keeping the cells balanced. And that's how we charge, that's how we, what we effectively call a balanced charge. Now say you've finished using, using your, your car for the day and you want to put your battery to storage mode, which is the safest and best way to store your LiPo battery. The, again, the charger can do it. So we'll scroll, scroll through to LiPo storage. Again, it's coming up with 2S. It's showing me a capacity of 6300, so we'll put that back to 52 and the charger will know what to do. Again, we'll hit the start button and that can do one of two things. That can either charge the battery up to storage charge, or it can, if the battery is like overcharged or too fully charged, it will in fact discharge the battery down to that safe level. And that ensures that you're keeping your battery with not too much charge in it, that it can, can puff and, and be somewhat dangerous. And also not the fact that it's too low in voltage, that if you leave it for some time, it will dip below the threshold and struggle to take charge again. So that's how we're gonna charge our LiPo battery today. But that can also work for if you're using um, nickel metal, nickel metal batteries. So you've got a ready to run car and you've upgraded from the wall charger that's come in it. Now this will charge a typical nickel metal battery like the one here. You'll probably charge time in this. Again, you can charge up to 10 amps. I probably wouldn't recommend it for this one. Um, you know, I think about four amps is probably safe for most applications and that will give us a charge time of about half an hour. And this is what we call peak charging. So I'm gonna go ahead here and I've plugged in my Tamiya connecting charge lead. Again, these plug adapters are all available. And then I'm gonna go through LiPo battery, no, Life, uh, LIHV, so that's a high voltage LiPo, nickel metal. And that's the composition of this battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and push enter. Then again, it's gonna show us charge, charge current limit if we choose it, discharge, because again, we can bring it down to a safe level and we can cycle it. So we can discharge it before we charge it to make sure that we're getting the most amount of power in there. So we wanna do a nickel metal charge manually. I've set it to four amps, so we want it to obtain that. And then I'll go ahead and push start. Again, it checks the battery over and the LCD screen shows you what's going on. And this will automatically cut off and it will beep again and it will show me the time that it took to charge the uh, the capacity of the battery so how much how many milliamps have gone into the battery and also the voltage of the finished the finished battery so that is just some of the capabilities of the the trc c100 and it's a really worthwhile investment and it will charge everything from uh, one, one S LiPos, nickel metal hydrides, up to your four S monster batteries. Uh, I think even some six S it will do, it will do six S batteries. So they're really handy to have and really good comprehensive little charger. Yeah, the TRC C100, check it out. Thanks for watching.